Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the Internet Explorer browser back and install it on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now, after the October 2023 update, Internet Explorer was removed from your PC. If you want it back, stick around till the end of this video and I'll show you how to get it back and run it smoothly again. So the first thing we need to do is click on the Windows search bar and type INET cpl.cpl and click on the icon that appears in the suggestions this will open the internet properties window next from the top menu click on programs then manage add-ons from the left hand menu click on the toolbar and extensions on the right hand side look for the file name i2edgebho so here is the issue even if you install Internet Explorer, it often is open with Microsoft Edge, which is the newer version. If you want it to open with Internet Explorer only and not Microsoft Edge, you'll see that the status is enabled. You'll need to disable it, but the disable option isn't highlighted, so you cannot change it from here. What we need to do is close this window. Then let's click on the Windows search bar and type Reg Edit. Click on the registry editor from the suggestions and click yes when prompted. Now in the registry editor, let's go to the left hand menu and click on H key local machine. Double click on it to expand it. Then let's look for software and double click on that. Next find Microsoft and double click on it. Inside Microsoft, scroll down to find Windows and double click on it. Then in the Windows, look for current version and double click on that. Now find policies, scroll down and double click on it. In the policies, you'll see EXT, which stands for extensions. Double click on EXT, then find CLSID and click on it. On the right hand side, you'll see an entry, double click on it and change the value data from 1 to 0. Once you're done, click OK and close the registry editor. Now, if you search for inetcpl.cpl again and hit enter, then go to Programs and Manage Add-ons, you'll see that the i2 Edge BHO has been automatically disabled. That means that when you install Internet Explorer, it will open with Internet Explorer only instead of Microsoft Edge. Now let's see how you can get the Internet Explorer. The first method is super easy. Open File Explorer and click on this PC. Then Local Disk C and look for Program Files x86. Double click on that folder and you'll find Internet Explorer. Double click on it and you'll see an application called iExplorer. Right click on it and click on Show More Options if you're using Windows 11, just hover over Send To and click on Desktop Create Shortcut. Now you'll see the Internet Explorer icon on your desktop. You can right click on it, click on Rename and change the name to Internet Explorer. If you double click on it, it should open an Internet Explorer. If it still opens with Microsoft Edge, you might need to restart your computer. That was the first method. If it doesn't work for you, here's the next one you can try. Let's right click on your desktop and hover over new and click on text document. Open notepad and paste the code you'll find in the descriptions right over here. Once you've pasted it, click on file, then save as and rename it to Internet Explorer VBS. Now make sure to change the file extension to VBS. In the Save As Type dropdown, choose All Files, select the location where you want to save the file, and click Save. Now you can close Notepad. You should see a VBS file saved on your desktop. Right click on it, and click on Show More Options, hover over Send To, and click on Desktop Create Shortcut. Once the shortcut is created, right click on it, click on show more options, and then click on properties. Here, you'll find the change icon option. 
click on it and look for the Internet Explorer icon from the list. Once you find it, select it and click on OK. Then apply and then OK again. Finally, rename it to Internet Explorer and remove the rest of the text. Now, if you double click on it, it should open Internet Explorer without any problems. All the navigation menus will be from Internet Explorer. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.